Thank you, Chief. Uh, where are things at with the fire? Hey, thank you so much. I appreciate uh, the opportunity to be here and talk with you. Uh, so shortly after about 4.15 this afternoon, a brush fire along Highway 99E uh, was reported. Uh, units from Canby Fire were first to arrive and dispatch and assume command. Uh, once they arrived, they saw that the fire was progressing very rapidly and they called for additional resources, which triggered Clackamas Fire. Um, first arriving units found heavy fire traveling quickly towards structures in the terrain, uh, which was super steep, very steep and difficult to access for firefighters. Uh, crews from multiple agencies, including ODF, went to work uh, to contain the fire. Resources included uh, an ODF hand crew, uh, bulldozer, as well as a, a type, type 3 helicopter from Precision, which was part of Clackamas Fire's resource list and uh, did a phenomenal job for us. Um, uh, evacuation orders were, were sent out through CECOM using reverse 911. Uh, with the Canby Fairgrounds identified as an evacuation center for, for uh, people as well as animals. Uh, fire was brought under control and evacuations were lifted. Um, crews are going to be on scene overnight working to extinguish hotspots and keeping an eye out for spread. Um, this is the, uh, I want to point out that this is the second significant brush fire incident since April in Clackamas County. Uh, please take the time to understand the evacuation levels, prepare your property by creating a defensible space, and signing up for public alerts. Um, I'd be happy to answer any questions at this time. I, I will say this, it was great partnership between the, the home citizens here uh, that uh, helped, helped us gain access to the fire and the success that we had was basically because of the crews on scene and, and the homeowners that were here. So it was a, it was a, a very successful uh, uh, operation. Thank you for the update, Chief. Before we get to questions, um, I would, you know, ODOT has asked us to let everyone know that Highway 99E remains closed between 2nd Street and New Era. There is no estimated time for reopening. Um, during the closure, geologists are going to be exploring the um, slope conditions. Uh, this is an area that has been prone to rockfall in the past, and they're taking every step possible to ensure that uh, the slope remain stable and there has not been any fire damage that could lead to um, to rock falls. So the um, ODOT should have an update on when that road will open uh, in the near future. Uh, so again, this is the second fire in the county that has resulted in evacuation levels and or people being evacuated from their homes. And so we are grateful for everyone who cooperated with that. Um, evacuation order. And this, again, please sign up for public alerts uh, at our website at clackamas.us slash DM. In some cases, um, you will probably hear about the evacuation levels first using that system. And we also want to give um, thanks to the Clackamas County Sheriff's Office for all their assistance in um, evacuations and knocking on doors. Um, and as well as the Red Cross who appeared at the um, evacuation center uh, at the fairgrounds. Um, we've heard anecdotally that the fairgrounds saw a lot of animals um, come in, um, a lot of horses and a few, a few households come as well. Um, Chief, can you please help folks understand where the fire stands tonight? Yeah, we're, we're in mop up stage of this fire. So we've benchmarked fire under control. Um, so now what we are doing is just ensuring that all hotspots and smokers uh, are put out and, and uh, extinguished so that, uh, you know, in the next couple of days, nothing flares up. So uh, we're, we're in, we're in a, uh, we've started to demobilize resources and, and get them back to their surrounding uh, agencies. And uh, that's, that's where we currently stand. Okay. So with that, we will take questions from the media. And um, if you could use the raise your hand feature and then mute yourself, we'll take your questions. Okay, Jenny, I see Jenny Young um, from COIN. I see one in your um, a question for fire in the chat. Um, how many homes were evacuated? Um, and if you guys don't know that, I think we do at the county. Yeah, that would be a, a better answer. We were just about to go uh, try to get the exact number, but how many, how many do you have at the county? 
Well, we counted 13 structures that were in that evacuation area. However, we realized that not all of those uh, vac all those structures were um, were homes. They could be some sort of outbuilding as well. Yeah, and there was a couple uh, neighbors that were doing hand hand hand. So it might be a little bit more than that, but but not much. Yeah. Okay. Are there any other questions, Jenny? Oh, this is a question for fire, and I don't know if you guys have the answer to this, but they're um, wondering if the fire started on private property, and I guess, do we know how the fire started, or when will we know? Uh, the fire is under investigation, and as soon as that information is uh, determined, we will, we will release it. Okay. If there's no further questions, um, we'll go ahead and wrap up. Uh, we just again wanted to provide this opportunity as a really quick brief update on where things stand for this evening. It sounds like um, fire crews are beginning, um, you know, the fire's under control, the crews are mopping it up and are, are demobilizing. And that's actually really good news. Um, I think every time, you know, with following the Labor Day fires last year, I think we're all um, on edge and expecting a big fire again. So again, so please let's learn from this incident and take this time to prepare um, for how to respond to wildfires. Love that. Kimberly, can I just say one more thing? Just want to say thank you to the, the area citizens that provided water for us, that helped in evacuations, that evacuated themselves, and again, that helped out in opening up the fences and get, helping us to gain access to uh, to where the fire, to, to be able to attack the fire. And all the mutual aid resources, Canby Fire, Clackamas Fire, Tualatin Valley, Aurora, uh, ODF, and Precision Helicopter. This it wouldn't have been the success, successful outcome without without the, uh, the partnership. And not last but not least, the CCSO. We appreciate you guys. Thank you, and the county. Oh well, thank you. It does. County. <laughs> it does take a community effort to respond to these types of incidences. So thank you for joining us tonight, and uh, please stay safe. Thank you.